grandfather keep care of grandkids at nine o'clock in the morning, all right? And I couldn't get out the door. And it doesn't say that I couldn't vote before at nine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I tell you, when you're trying to build a good Republican base, you're fucking it up by doing it. I'm gonna say that because I'm pissed about this. No, I'm God family, you know I'm pissed. All right? No, you guys are trying to sit there and get our support. Everyone, everyone needs to calm down. Expand the rules. Everyone needs to calm down. Everyone needs to calm down. Enough. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Please. I mean, I used to be, you know, I'm new to Nevada. I'm learning about our, our Republican Party. Okay. And I'm learning about how it's really in distress. And now I can see why it is in distress. this experience over four years ago. Registration process went smooth. We didn't have the overcrowding we had four years ago. Lots of people came to our training sessions that we had. So 99% of the people knew that they started at 10 o'clock, showed up there at 10 o'clock. And anything that you do, you're going to have a handful of people that just don't understand the process, didn't hear the word out, didn't get the word. And we're sorry that they weren't there at 10 o'clock and loved it have included them, but again, this is all dictated by the Nevada Revised Statutes. We have to run them a certain way. And we did everything we could through the media, and through uh, phone calls to every uh, uh, household here in Washoe County that's a Republican to let them know that these precinct meetings were today. They started at 10 o'clock and welcomed them to come down. But at some point, you know, we have to follow the law. And for 99 people to have a positive experience here and the comments we got great, got back, we feel really good about today and what went on today. Talk about a little bit about your effort to get the word out. How, where you, where you got the word out and what, in which ways you were limited to get the word out. Well, Channel 4 was one great way to get it out. I mean, we were on all the news networks. I can't tell you how many interviews I've done with all three, all four networks here in this town. Uh, I was on uh, KOH radio uh, doing interviews. We were on in the morning, we were on in the evening. Another radio station we were on every Friday uh, morning uh, talking about this process. I was on uh, public broad NPR radio talking about it. We had it in the newspapers. I mean, the media's been great this whole time about this caucus and what's been going on. Uh, we couldn't thank them more. And then on Wednesday, the Washoe County party itself paid for a robocall to be done to every household and tell everybody where their caucus location is and that we started at 10 o'clock and we did everything we could outside, you know, we couldn't go to every household, knock on the door and sit in the living rooms and tell everybody. And again, I have to say with a 99% satisfaction rate of people that came to this caucus and the number of people we had turned out that had a positive experience, I say we did a pretty good job. You were telling me earlier about how you guys are limited to the rest of the season. Uh, what were the volunteers you have? Uh, you know, unlimited money to send out to the nursing homes. Can you kind of talk to us a little bit? Yeah, Washoe County has no paid staff here. We're all volunteers. This was a Herculean effort on the volunteers. They've been planning this for months. The Washoe County Party, we have limited funds. People want to give their money to candidates and everything else. It's hard for a party to raise money these days. We have our Lincoln Day dinner, a couple dinners that raise us money and help us pay the rent and the lights and, and things like that. But to send out a letter to 90,000 uh, registered Republicans in Washoe County, you figure by the time you pay for that letter, pay for the envelope and everything else, it's going to cost us eighty, ninety thousand dollars 90000 We raise maybe $40,000 in a year. So there's no way we could send out a letter to everybody detailing everything that happens and exactly how it happens. People have to take some responsibility for themselves and find out information. And we've had people in here for the last month mailing phone calls and answering a lot of questions. Again, like I say, 99% of people knew when it was, what time it was. And for those that didn't show up, you know, I apologize. 
wish there was some way we could have uh, gotten the word out better, but we did everything humanly possible that we could do, and I'm proud of everybody that participated in this conference. They did a fantastic job. And so if they didn't come, if they didn't, now that you're kind of, I know that this is a vast improvement. If you look at years ago, you guys are continuing to learn and grow. What would you say that you want to do differently next year after well, four years from now, we'd love to have a primary. Everybody that participated in this, and we've heard this a lot, we would love to have a primary. Well, the party would too. The difference is the party, the primary is run by a state. The caucus is run by the party. The state does not want to pay for a primary. It will cost them a million and a half bucks to do it. If they can not do that, not spend that money, and make the parties put a caucus on and take the money out of the party's uh, pocket that we could use to help go elect Republicans, that's the way the state thinks. So while everybody would love to have a primary, and we'd love it more than anybody else because we'd love to use that money to go out and send out flyers and notices and everything else, it's the legislature that has to make that change. So, I mean, what we did is the best we could. Uh, the Atlanta Revised Statutes require us to have a caucus. We did a fantastic job putting that on, and again, we're really proud of what we did. What would you say to those couple of people who got turned away today and who were just, you know, excited to, to vote for their candidate? And, you know, what do you say to those people? I know that they're disappointed. I know they're probably mad at this point. But stay engaged. Stay part of this process. The answer of the country, remember, is to replace that guy that's in the White House now. Don't lose sight of that fact. Don't let a day like today where you showed up late and, and didn't get to cast your uh, ballot in this nominating process, don't let that keep you from the polls in November. We need to replace that guy in the White House right now with a Republican. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.